Welcome to my channel. I'm back with you once again with another video of Microsoft Flight Simulator. And today I'm flying from Karachi, Jinnah International Airport to Dubai. Uh, in the first video, I've covered the flight planning part. Part Now we are going to start the plane from the cold and dark state. So let's go to the cockpit and just finish the checklist and start the plane from the cold and dark state. I really like doing that. And uh, hopefully you will also learn a lot from these videos. And uh, do post your comments. If you have any questions, you can also ask me. And um, I will be really glad to answer all your questions. So let's uh, wait uh, for the simulator to load. Okay, so here we are at uh, OPKC, Jinnah International Airport, Karachi. Visibility is 9.80 nautical miles. And the time is 5 in the evening. I've kept the time at the real, uh, real life settings. And... Uh, Let's uh, go to the cockpit. We are parked at gate 49. And uh, the best part about the Microsoft Flight Simulator is this, that you don't have to make your own checklist to uh, start the plane from the cold and dark state. You can use the built-in checklist. In my previous videos, I haven't uh, used the built-in checklist, but today I'm going to use this one just to show you how you can uh, start the plane from the cold and dark state using the built-in checklist. Let's uh, reduce the size of this checklist and let's keep it here. So first of all, click this one before starting engine. And this is the procedure before starting the engine. So first of all, we have to um, turn on the battery switches. So let's uh, click this uh, icon and uh, it will automatically show you. So the best part about a Microsoft Flight Simulator is the checklist. It really indicates. Okay, now I'm going to actually manage video comms. I'm going to turn it off. Okay. Yeah, okay. So I've actually turned on the radio controls because obviously uh, once uh, I'm doing all these procedures, you can hear all this uh, communication. So I've turned it off. I've turned it to, uh, to, uh, to, to manual. And if you look at this communication, once I read back and acknowledge, Okay, let's acknowledge this and then we will wait. Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray tree two zero clear to Dubai Airport as filed. Take off runway two five left climb and maintain fourteen thousand feet. Departure on one two six decimal five squawk zero three one five. Now this is one frequency that we have to remember. So now we have. Uh, over here from the radio communication, we have uh, two frequencies, 118.3, this is uh, for the ground. We will use this frequency to um, to get the clearance for the for the taxi. And uh, 1 to 6.5, we will be using this uh, frequency to get the clearance for the, uh, 1 to 6.5 for the clearance of the takeoff. So these two frequencies we have to remember. Now the tower has told us that once uh, we are up in the air, uh, we will uh, climb and maintain 14,000 feet. So the initial climb altitude will be 14,000 feet. But though in this flight, uh, we will be uh, going more than uh, 14,000 feet. We will be, I think, flying at 38 or 39,000. Okay, let's change the view. And uh, let's see, there's one uh, option over here, the squawk code. So the squawk code is properly entered. So the moment we turn on the batteries, this is all set. So take this item. Now external power. Because right now the plane is on the batteries and the plane engines are not started. That's why we need the external power. So we'll turn it on. And the external power is now available. Take item, engine generators on fault displayed. Let's see where they are. So this is engine generator one, turn it on. Engine generator two, turn it on. And that's it. Take item, engine bleed air switch, where it is. Here you go, turn on the engine bleeds. APU master switch. This is the auxiliary power unit, which is in the plane. So we will turn on the auxiliary power switch. Take this item, APU start, and we will start the APU. The moment we will start the APU, you will see that wait for available light. So right now, it's, it's an on state, but we will wait for it to uh, turn green, I think then it will say available. Let's wait for that. Mm, 
Yes, now it's available. Take item, APU bleed. Where is the APU bleed? Here is the APU bleed. Turn on the APU bleed, external power. Now, as we have the auxiliary power unit within the plane up and running, we don't need external power, so we'll turn it off. Take item, fuel pumps. So let's uh, inject the fuels into the engines. And the fuel pumps are on, take item, beacon. And turn on the beacon. So we have completed all the 11 uh, items in the checklist. Now we are going to start the engines. Thrust levers, they are in the idle state, you can see. Which is okay. Take item. Now engine mode selector, turn it to ignition start. Take item. Now we will uh, turn on the engine 2. First you turn on the engine 2, then engine 1. Take item, engine master 1 on. This is the one. On. Confirm stabilized. Now let's go and move to this display. I actually you don't use uh, shortcut keys to move around in the cockpit. This is how I am. If you're slightly getting irritated by this I'm sorry for that but uh, this is how it is okay so now you can see the engines are now up and running and uh, we will wait for these numbers to stabilize the engine is in the idle state you can see it over here it says idle zero percent thrust and now we will wait for the rpms to stabilize This is auto brake. It should be uh, set to on. The max should be on. Not low, not medium, but the max should be on. Set auto brake to medium. So max. So auto brakes are there. Now the engines have stabilized. 60.1. Take the item. Let's move to the next point. APU bleed. Now we have engines up and running and we have the power from the engines. We don't need the APU bleed. Turn it off. APU master switch, where it is, turn this off. Engine mode selector, this one. Just uh, change it to normal. Take item. And done. We are done with all the three procedures. Okay. Now everything is up and running. The plane is in a good position and uh, things are looking good. Okay, so it's time to turn on the lights. Now let's see. So this one, turn off landing lights. So landing lights are on. Uh, set nose light to taxi. Turn on nav lights. Wing light. Beacon on. Strobe is on. So all the lights are on. Everything. Now the last thing which was not there in the checklist is to release um, the parking brake. Here is the parking brake. Set the flaps to 1. The flaps are required for additional lift and the low speed a plane needs a lift so here we are now let's uh, move on to the radio communication point tune uh, ATIS 126.700 uh, ATIS is uh, actually used for the communication uh, purpose to get the weather updates and everything so we are not uh, uh, getting the weather updates right now so we just want to request taxi IFR Acknowledge taxi clearance. Taxiing hold short runway two five left by a taxiway alpha Airbus three two zero. Okay, now uh, we'll request the ground services and we will request a pushback. Let's see. Ground, Airbus alpha Sierra, X -ray Here is the tug. Now let's open this map. We have to as we have to take off from here, so that's why the plane will uh, move towards uh, the right side. It's like this. We will turn right. Push back, steer to right. Because we want to move the plane like this and then taxi towards the runway. So that's how it's going to be. And now taxi to the right. And 
And now you can see. Great. Now the once the plane is straight, we will stop the taxi. I think it turned left too early. Anyhow. We are trying to keep it as real as possible, but we will now stop. Karachi ground, Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 requesting the end of pushback. Thank you. Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 request to end pushback received. It was a bit early. I think I f I'm not wrong. I'm not a real life pilot. I'm not sure, but I think we should have been here. Uh, anyhow, you have to practice this. Uh, with the hit and trial method, you will you will actually somehow learn this one remember one thing that if you have turned on this uh, radio communication or to automatic to ai if you if you give it to the co-pilot it still it it gives the command to stop but it doesn't give the command to turn left or right so that's one of the issues uh, that we have and then you have to you know select the right and the left option right at this point so that you know the plane turns and it's aligned with the taxi way anyhow do we need to do anything else go back to clearance we already have the clearance for the takeoff. Uh, we don't want to, to tune into ATIS uh, for the weather. If you want, we can. Otherwise, just leave this point right now. Once uh, we are um, short of the runway, then we will uh, go for the uh, clearance. So just leave this map on so that we can see. And give it a throttle a little bit. 14,000 feet. So let's set the altitude uh, 14,000 feet because we've already got the clearance for 14,000 feet. So we'll go to 14,000 feet. So this is how you do the pushback and you do the taxi. If I'm not wrong, uh, uh, while taxiing the speed should not be more than I think 20 or 30 knots. I'm not really sure about that, but uh, not very fast. Otherwise you will miss the turns. In Microsoft Flight Simulator, uh, the taxi for A320 is good, but not for 787 and 747. I've tried it for 787. I think there is an issue with the 787. I've also made a video. It's very difficult to control the plane uh, on taxi. I'll also try to do a video on 787 pushback and taxi, but it's, uh, it's difficult. It's not easy to control the plane. Like now, this plane is easily maneuvered. Out of the parking onto the taxiway. Everything is looking good so far. No error from my side. <laughs> I'm prone to making some little bit of errors in every video. But this time I think everything is on track because I've been practicing a lot. I was actually used to X Plane 11 and uh, Boeing 737. So A320 Neo was a new plane for me. I've also downloaded and uh, uh, installed uh, this uh, Flight Factory Airbus A320 for uh, uh, for X-Plane 11. I'm having some issue uh, with that installation. Uh, everything is green. All these displays and all these controls, they are green. I don't know why. So maybe I have to install it again or there is an issue. I have to copy the folder again back to the X-Plane 11 folder. I'm trying to fix it. I, don't, I, ne I didn't get time for that. But hopefully over the weekend I'll try to do it. And uh, well, let's see what happens. So now, uh, as we're going to take off from here, so we'll take this exit. Is there any marking or name name coming up? Every exit has a name, actually. It comes as A, B, C, L, L34, depending upon the runways and everything. Let's reduce the throttle as we're going to stop. We're going to hold short of the runway. Okay, so here it is.
Thank you very much for staying with me. Uh, this video is, was all about uh, starting the plane from the cold and dark state and uh, doing the pushback and the taxi. Uh, hopefully you have learned a lot from this video. Thank you very much for staying with me. Um, don't forget to watch the third part in which uh, I will cover uh, the takeoff, uh, the autopilot, and then um, I will make another video uh, for, the, for the descent and for the ILS approach. Once again, thank you very much for staying with me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you have got any questions, uh, do ask me and uh, I will try to respond to it as soon as possible.